What's up guys, Clint here, welcome to the channel. And if you don't know, I am a self-taught developer, meaning I don't have a computer science degree and I didn't attend a coding bootcamp. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the differences based on my opinion and after speaking with people who do have computer science degrees and from people who did attend coding bootcamps. And I'm gonna let you know if I could go back, if I could start over, would I still choose to self-learn and be a self-taught developer or would I choose a coding bootcamp or would I try and go to college to get a computer science degree. But first, which one are you? Let me know in the comments below if you went to a, you know, a university to get a computer science degree or are you a self-taught developer or perhaps you went to a coding boot camp. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. And if you could start over, which one would you choose? Looking back on my career and what I have done and accomplished, I do not have any regrets. I love what I do and I love how I went about learning. With that being said, there are, of course, a lot of different ways to reach one's end goals. There's many different roadways and pathways. What I want to talk about first is attending a college for a computer science degree. Do I think this is the best way to learn how to code or is it the fastest way to get a job as a developer? Let me just say right off the bat, it's never a bad choice to go to college for a computer science degree. But I will say this, don't take out massive school loans or go into a you know, huge amount of debt to get a college degree thinking that that's going to be your golden ticket into a fang company or any other type of developer job for that matter. Now, a computer science degree is going to cover a wide range of topics related to programming and the overall functionality of software. You're going to be covering topics like discrete mathematics, fundamentals of computer science, algorithms and data structures, software design, development, computational mathematics, and of course, a ton more. More. There is going to be a much deeper level of learning than what you would get at a coding boot camp, or especially if you're a self taught, but you're likely not going to be focused on new trends frameworks and libraries. You're going to be more focused on design principles and theories. These are great for providing a you know, foundation of software engineering. However, a caveat is that a lot of this may or may not apply to you depending on your career choice and where you go to work. These are absolutely great for providing a foundation of software engineering. However, a small caveat is that this may or may not apply to you depending on your career choice or where you go to actually work. And the reality is that it may not be an option for a lot of people to attend a two to four year college due to their current situation. Maybe they have kids, maybe they have a full-time job, or simply they just can't afford it. College is expensive. It costs a lot of money and it costs a lot of time as well. I don't have a computer science degree. I had kids at a very young age and I was forced to go to work full time. So I never had the luxury of just devoting two to four hours of my life and tons of money into obtaining a computer science degree. And truth be told, many of these companies do not care where you learn to code. All they care about is whether or not you are a competent developer and that you can actually work and play well with others. I don't want to knock CS graduates. Of course, they are very intelligent and I've met a lot in my time that are great developers. What I want to convey is that don't think you have to go to get a computer science degree if you want to become a developer. So next, let's look at coding boot camps. Coding boot camps are designed to be just that. They are boot camps. They're extremely submersive and they require a lot of time and they require a lot of effort. A coding boot camp will usually be highly focused on a particular subset of programming and less focused on theory. You can almost certainly count that you're going to be learning a specific set of skills sought after by employers. You know, this could be something like JavaScript, it could be Python, SQL, maybe even a popular library such as React or Angular. I don't have any personal experience with coding boot camps outside of speaking with a lot of friends and colleagues who have attended these. But honestly, if I were to start over from scratch from the absolute beginning, this actually sounds pretty appealing to me. Probably not in my current situation because I have kids and I have a lot of bills to pay. But however, if I didn't have a lot of mouse depending on me to feed them and a lot of bills to pay, then this, like I said, this sounds pretty interesting. So basically if I was a lot younger and I didn't have many responsibilities, I would probably look into a coding bootcamp. Personally, I think I learn best this way, just completely submerging yourself into learning. Most coding bootcamps are gonna last anywhere from three to six months. Three would probably be on the short side. I would say closer to six months, and they're gonna require a high amount of time and a high amount of energy. So don't expect to have much of a personal life if you're gonna attend a coding bootcamp. And by the way, I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. Shutting yourself off from the world for three to six months in order to build a career, 
there's nothing wrong with that. It's simply, it, it's not an option for a lot of people. And it certainly was not an option for me due to my obligations. They are going to cost a little bit of money though. However, in my opinion, if you can pay for the bootcamp costs, it might be around 12,000 to 20,000. And if you can commit eight to 12 hours a day, seven days a week, and you really grind this out, then a coding bootcamp might be your best option. If your whole goal is to get hired as a developer in the least amount of time as possible, but don't go into a coding bootcamp if you cannot 100% commit the time to learning how to code. If you have a family, then convey your wife, make sure she's on board to support you financially during this time and you know help out with kids. If you have kids, just make sure your family is supportive that you're gonna devote six months of your life into learning how to code to create a better life for your family in the long run. Now let's talk about being a self-taught developer. And of course, this is maybe one of the most popular and a lot of people like to talk about being self-taught. And when I say a self-taught developer, what I mean is that you didn't go obtain a computer science degree, nor did you go to a coding bootcamp. And let's further define being a self-taught developer. So all developers are self-taught to some degree, right? Whether you have a bachelor's degree in computer science, or maybe you went to a coding bootcamp, you're always going to be self-learning, no matter your choice, you're always gonna be self-learning and teaching yourself new libraries and frameworks. That is just the nature of the tech industry in general, new stacks, new frameworks, they're always coming out, they're constantly changing, and you're gonna to have to evolve to learn new things. So perhaps you don't have the time to invest 50 to 60 hours a week into a coding bootcamp. Maybe you can't afford to pay $18,000 to go to a coding bootcamp or even more if you're gonna go get a computer science degree. Self-learning is a great option if you have the tenacity and the discipline to do so. And it's certainly the cheapest way to learn how to code and get hired, but it, it'll likely be a more difficult path. So you're not gonna have a curriculum to follow you're not gonna have a support system like you would at a college or a coding bootcamp. And you're gonna be forced to formulate your own curriculum and decide what to learn and when to learn certain technologies. However, of course, you can pick up a Udemy course for around 20 bucks if, you, if you're new to, the, to their platform, and that's gonna be a great understanding of how a language like Python or like JavaScript works. Now, notice I said it's gonna be a great understanding of how the programming language works. You're not gonna master Python, you're not going to master JavaScript after watching a tutorial, but you will have a pretty good understanding of how the syntax works, how the language works in general. In the realm of being a self-taught developer, you are going to have to have a significant amount of motivation. If you are not constantly pushing yourself to and challenging yourself to learn new things, then you are not going to progress. For that reason, it's going to make the self-taught route a little less attractive. So you need to ask yourself, how do you learn best? How do I learn best? Do I have the discipline and the motivation to lay out a curriculum and follow it? Do you have the willingness to push through problems? Because there are gonna be plenty of them. That's all we do as developers. You just run into hurdle after hurdle, you run into wall after wall, and you're expected to navigate around these problems. My advice to you is, try and self study first. You know, if you're a young guy or even an older guy and you're trying to decide, do I go to coding boot camp? Do I get a CS degree? Do I self learn? Try and self study first, pick a language and a tech stack and dive deep into that language. Try learning as much as you can and really find out if you even enjoy it, first of all, and also, what kind of learner are you? How do you learn best? You may find that you really love coding and you really enjoy it, or you may find that you hate it and that coding's just not for you. You can't, you don't, you don't want to solve problems every day. And in that case, at least you didn't waste $20,000 on a boot camp, maybe less or even more pursuing a computer science degree. At the end of the day, just remember this you get out what you put in. This stands true for not only coding, but everything in life. So, matter your choice, college degree, coding boot camp, self taught, any of them are possible, 100% possible, if you put in 100% of your effort. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Smash the like button and leave me a comment. I love interacting with you guys. I'll see you on the next one.